First type of mechanical GMT movement we'll be discussing today is the Rolex type. In this case, the movement is a 3185. Now, to set things, when you pull the crown out in the first position, you wind the movement. In the second, as you're seeing here, in the second position here, that where the crown is pulled out, you get control of the hour hand, and you get to jump by one hour forwards and backwards. This allows you to easily change time zones for traveling or for daylight savings time without having to stop or hack the watch. That is, in my experience, the most convenient type of GMT setting movement there is. This is a Seiko spring drive. It works exactly the same as the Rolex before it. When you pull the crown out in the first position, you wind the movement. When you pull the crown out into the second position, you can independently adjust the hour hand. And uh, in particular, this is a very accurate movement, so having the luxury of not having to stop the second hand is a great thing. The movement in this case is a 5R66. Here we have a vintage Omega Flightmaster 911. It has a dedicated crown that allows you to move the second hour hand anywhere you want, clockwise only. Here we have my least favorite movement, the ETA 2893 GMT movement. In this case, in the first position, you hand wind as before, and in the second position, you have two choices. In one direction, you adjust the date. In the other position, you can move the GMT hand. Now, mind you, in the prior versions that we saw, you moved the hour hands, also known as the local time hand. And for most people, it's a much more convenient function than actually moving the GMT hand. And lastly, here's a Seiko Quartz 5M family series of movements. It has a GMT hand, uh, like the, all the other ones, and it functions in the so-called Rolex manner. Again, really, really easy to use. In this case, I didn't charge it up, so that's why the second hand's not running, but if it was, you'd be able to adjust the hour without having to hack it.